name is Matt Dryden. This is Cobra Fitness. We established in 2013. We're a boxing Muay Thai mixed martial arts facility, open to fitness training as well. A lot of people come to the gym telling me they want to be a fighter. Everyone wants to be a fighter until you've got to do what it takes to be a fighter. We see potential, we see the, the heart of pushing, then we sort of pick them up a little bit. We have trials for our fight team as well, so it's a rigorous four-hour test to get in for our fight team. If you pass that, well then you've earned my respect. Training my athletes for professional fights is different to how I train our athletes for amateur fights. It's a little more serious. Um, based on a weight cut, some of our guys lose up to 12 kilos before a fight. Um, they train twice a day, an hour and a half in the morning, an hour and a half in the evening. But all training is based on what style they're fighting and who their opponent is. Most importantly, they need to enjoy what they're doing. There's no point in being there if they're not enjoying it. So before they walk into the ring or enter the cage, enjoy it. You know, you grasp every moment of being inside the cage or the ring. And when you finish, we speak about what you can improve for next time. So it's always a positive, there's no negative, you know. If they get beaten, it's different to losing. My athletes will win or they'll get beaten, they won't lose. So for, for women in our sport, uh, it's growing dramatically, which is fantastic. I have several girls here, both foreigners and locals, that, that train and fight. Um, I've been with one, one of the girls, she's been with me for 10 years. She's won WMC titles, she's fought all around the world, and she sets the example for the younger girls, they wanna be like her. So I think the sport for women is growing dramatically, as well as combat sports in general. So before the Muay Thai Federation started, we were fighting events in Ajman and Dubai all around the Emirates, but the level was, was there was no rules. You know, some guys would fight with shin pads, no shin pads, helmets, they'd take the helmets off through the second round. It was madness, you know. Now, you know if you fight on a Federation event, the rules, it's strict, you know what to follow, you know what to expect. There's still some really good promoters around, but you get more exposure regularly with the Federation, as well as introductions to people that you might not know, which opens more doors for all of us. So since the uh, introduction of Muay Thai Federation in Abu Dhabi, I think it's been great for the sport in general, for amateurs as well as professionals. You know, they're putting on a lot more shows and the show's uh, budget are a lot more than the, the gym. So we can invite a lot more people, we can do a lot more marketing, get a lot more people involved, which in turn is good for everybody because it grows the sport. It's more competition for our athletes and other athletes. And this is not a violent sport. This is a sport where it's all about respect, you know? So my athletes will meet their opponents in the ring, but then outside the ring, it's a friendship, you know? So this is, the Federation is, is helping build this in the country, as well as the region. Start if you haven't started. If you're at it and it gets tough, it's supposed to be tough. That's what separates you from the person next to you. That's what separates winners from losers. You enjoy it, enjoy the experience, enjoy the journey, the training. The training is, is the majority of it, you know what I mean? You have to enjoy the journey, not just the destination, otherwise, it's a long training camp for nine minutes or, you know, 15 minutes.